I'll get you. I'll get you pictured against the shelves. You see, so it looks it looks it looks good. Okay. So, can you can you tell me who you are and which school you teach at, please? Okay, I am Kathy Dao, teaching at Kabarta Upper Basic School. And how many how many students do you have in your classes at the school? In schools, right? In my own class, I have. 44 students. Yeah. In other classes, you have like 48, 49, even up to 50. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which is difficult. Yeah, it's really difficult. <laughs> um, 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 what are the what are the major difficulties you have in teaching physics in your school? Okay, the major problem I have in teaching physics in my school is that um, we don't have enough materials. All right, in terms of teaching it. Okay, if you look at the number, it's very large. They are teaching 45 students, 50 students, and then you have only, let's say, one, one, one teaching aid with you. So I find it very difficult in using that one teaching aid, and sometimes, in fact, with none, you know, because in schools, you know, um, there are schools, especially my school, they have no science lab. We don't have the science lab. Okay, so we improvise in many occasions. But sometimes even to do that improvisation is you find it difficult because of the large number of students mm -hmm. we have in the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and how do you think coming to these workshops has helped you? This workshop I would say tell God and bravo to you people. This workshop since I have started this is my third year of attending it <laughs> for real is really improving because I have learned so many things that I can easily use when I attended this workshop for um, materials in my class. Since I'm just seeing them, taking them as useless things. Now, since after attending this workshop, I realize that those things are very useful. That, you know, where even when I, even with, with or without science lab in my schools, I can take those materials and use them in my class. I'll give you one example, like spoon. We can get spoon, <laughs> improvise, in case of a concave and convex lenses, which I have never known before <laughs> until I have attended this workshop. And, and do you think your students are learning better because of what um, you've learned? From what I have learned, most of them are coping. In fact, I find it easier than before. Because before, you will explain, I will explain something to them that they will keep asking that they didn't understand. You know, sometimes I will have to use my laser tag, organize extra classes for them, to just make sure that they are in line. Okay. But since I have attended, I have started attending this workshop. Some of the things that you taught me, I am using them to help them also to have a better understanding in the subject area. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And and will will you come to the next workshops? Yes, I will. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daddy.